Okay, uh, Ming here. So a couple of things that I wanted to do. One is uh, highlight a program called Freescaler, which is on the Mac. Sorry, I haven't found a uh, comparable version for the Windows platform, though there are quite a few out there. But I am a Mac user, and if I do find something on that, I'll, I'll post that. And I will put the link for this particular one below the video. Right now, this image that you're seeing in the background is done in Stable Diffusion 2.0 and it's using a lot more of the negative prompts to be able to get to where I'm going. You can see some of the other images that I was able to produce uh, with this. What you see here are images that have gone through Freescaler to bump them up to four times their original size, which was 512 by 512. And the detail on these are really nice. You do have a lot more text prompting to be able to get these type of results. So it's a different learning curve. Certainly I'm going to be working to try to train my own images, which will produce things a little closer to what you're going to look at here in a second. The dirt and grime, uh, the detail on these is really quite nice. I'm using cinematic lighting in the description, of course, as well as depth of field. People will say bokeh, but it's not actually what bokeh is. Bokeh is actually the lights in the background that blur and produce a specific type of shape in the blur. That's bokeh. What we're looking at here is depth of field blur and quite nice representation of it actually. So now we're going to go back to the program itself is Freescaler and this program is for Mac OS and it is free. Yeah, you aren't going to <laughs> get better than free. It's open source, based on open source. Uh, you can actually download here at the bottom. You'll see that this is open source scalar. You can actually download that and actually create your own programs uh, from it. The source code and tools are all available. So it does use a real SR and as well as the um, the real SR GAN algorithms and that's why you get such a nice uh, face representation. Uh, these here, we're going to go back to... So this was created on my phone, by the way, iPhone, uh, through an app called DrawThings. And DrawThings now is using the version 2, as well as a ton of other checkpoint models that you can use. It's really astounding. Again, that is also free, and I'll put a link for it in the description below here. So this is the Freescaler, and essentially it provides this nice slider once you hit type of model that you're choosing here. So if I were to use anime, and again, you can do two times, three times, or four times. TTA mode is a very time intensive, so when you use the TTA mode, it does reduce artifacts, it does a mild blur uh, so you're not going to get the cleanest representation of your image, but it will get rid of some of the JPEG artifacts and things like that on certain images. And this is good for any image. It's really great. So what I'm going to do is we're setting on anime four times upscale. I'm going to hit upscaler. This is real time. That's how fast that works. There is an increase in the detail, and it does provide a slight anime type, cartoon type appearance. So when we slide it from here to here, you'll see the difference in the detail. We're going to run it through drawing mode. And again, you'll use different modes for the different type of images that you have. Sometimes you'll produce much better views from the different settings depending on the specific type of image that you have. So if I put it to drawing, which means if this were a drawing and I would upscale, this would be more tuned to increasing uh, drawings without losing the representation, which works really well actually with drawings. But since this is a photographic representation of a human being, we're going to just see that was real time. And so four times upscale. And again, you'll see the detail. It doesn't put the anime type overlay on it. And we're going to go jump to photo. And it's going to take it as if it was a photo and then it's going to upscale accordingly. Now, this one had a slight challenge up there by the nose, but I'm trying to make these images a tad more grimy, dirty, people with scars, things like that. So I don't want the 
model coming out of a, her makeup chair appearance. And you can see that difference. We'll slide that over again. You can go back and forth just a little bit here. And the one that I typically use a lot is Sharpen Image. Now between, again, <laughs> different images will require the different model because sometimes I'll use the anime model a lot for different renderings and and it works superbly well and of course is you know three four times as fast uh, the sharpen image does a great job across the board and here we go and it does just that as you'll see it really sharpens the image of course it leaves the background blur fine there we go you can see that detail come out and again this is four times the size I believe it'll take a 1032 uh, by 1032 and then upscale that to 4000. If you needed more than this and you wanted like 8K and things like that, just download DaVinci Resolve and I have a video for how to do that, but I'll probably put another one up because people need to see that, the how DaVinci does some upscaling with their neural engine dramatically uh, and in an incredible quality. Okay, so. That was the upscale. Then, of course, you just hit share, and it'll open up a dialog box. You can import, and you can drag entire folders in there. So here's a shot of the folders that I just included a folder. It had it upscale the entire thing. And again, we get back to our slides. So that bumped all of these from 512 uh, pixels by 512 to four times their size. And the quality, of course, is quite nice and you don't you don't really lose a lot if you're really nitpicky you can see certain things in shadows and across the board with certain um, softens certain areas but again what you see here is pretty nice anyway if you have any questions please put it down in the comments below and I'll try my best to get to them. I hope you enjoyed this. Please thumbs up if you have the will and the effort. Thank you.